Hi y'all, welcome to The Sugar Scoop. I'm sugar and cake artist Shelby Bauer and today we're gonna to make this super cute and adorable unicorn pastel cake. It has rainbows and stars and watercolor buttercream. So let's get started. Start off with your favorite icing. I like to use a meringue. For this cake, I'm making a caramel meringue. I made a batch of brown sugar caramel sauce, let it cool and then mix it into my icing. Level and tort your cake. I used a chocolate cake base. I always add a little bit of espresso powder to my chocolate cakes to deepen the flavor. So I custom cut a seven and a half inch board. I'm sticking it down to my cake drum with some buttercream. Now I'm filling my cakes using my caramel buttercream and toasted pecans. It's important when doing a watercolor buttercream cake to do a crumb coat first, then chill your cake. I prefer to chill it overnight to keep the crumbs nice and tight to the cake. Now I done messed up, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. My first round of watercolor buttercream was way too bright. I was going for more of a pastel, but I overcolored my icing and it would have been okay, but the colors deepened as the cake sat and it just was way too bright for what I wanted. It did turn out really pretty though. So to do the watercolor buttercream, I like to use piping bags and pipe blobs onto the cake and then scrape them with my bench scraper. The piping bags keep it somewhat less of a mess and I just keep adding color to the holes and then scraping them until the whole surface is nice and smooth. I'm going to show you my first color combo then we're going to switch it up to our pastel.
is my top tier. I used a four inch cake, torting and filling just like the bottom tier. This one was also too bright. convincing myself that the colors were fine so I went ahead and stacked it before recoloring it to being pastel. I used three bubble tea straws all cut the exact same length to support the top tier. Then I hammered in two bamboo skewers into the top tier down through the bottom tier into the seven inch cake. I'm transporting this cake pretty far so I wanted it to be nice and secure. To recolor the cake, I scraped off about 1 8 to 1 quarter of an inch of icing, which is why the icing looks a little off and muddled here. I added more fresh white icing to my colors that were too bright to tone them down, and then I just repeated the same process. To paint with buttercream on a buttercream cake, you need to make sure that your cake is totally chilled. I'm sure you noticed how I just picked up the top tier and set it onto the cake. It's a real cake, it's just that cold. That's how cold your cake needs to be so that you can paint onto it. I'm using slightly brighter colors and piping bags fitted with number three tips to pipe my lines or my arches. Then I'm going over each line with a brush. Having a little bowl of water is helpful to keep your brush gliding nice and smooth over the buttercream. Make sure to clean your brush often. I like to kind of mix the icing in between the lines. I want this rainbow to look like it's painted with really thick paint. Now it's time to cut out our pretty unicorn. I drew out this pattern and it's available for download for free on my website www.thesugarscoop.com. I'm using my Excel blades to cut out all my pattern pieces. For the eyes, nostrils, and inside ear, you can mark them on your fondant or you can cut them out of like a different color. I chose to mark them and then define them by painting them later. I'm using Madame Lulu fondant in white. 
I'm rolling it out to about a quarter of an inch thick and cutting it out with a clean Excel blade. in the horn. Round out the edges of the fondant to make it look more 3D. I'm freehanding some clouds and defining them with my veining tool.
I'm also freehanding my stars and I'm making them look a little bit more childlike because I think that goes with the whole unicorn theme. I'm using a tiny star cutter for the rest of the stars. You can also pipe little stars instead of using a tiny cutter if you don't have one. I'm gluing everything on with a little buttercream. I'm using a mixture of luster dust and food coloring to paint the face. I like having a fluffy brush, a liner brush, and a spot brush. I mix my food coloring with vodka to create my watercolor edible paint. And of course, I'm adding freckles to my unicorn. I'm using the same technique I used on the rainbow to finish off her mane.
For the border, I'm piping a blob, then dragging it out with a brush. Then I'm layering the next color on top of the tail of the first blob, and then I'm just completing that in a rainbow pattern until I get to the back, and then I just do a quick little finishing dot on the back. I'm adding some edible pearl paint to my stars and my clouds to make them pop. I made a few roses with my Easy Rose Cutter. I used fondant and I prefer my fondant to be pretty thick for these. It makes the petals kind of open up a little bit more. They're very different than gum paste flowers. I thin out the edges with my fingers and with my rolling tools. I'm finishing with my roses and some edible glitter and oh my gosh guys this cake is so cute it's so dreamy and adorable and who doesn't still love unicorns thank you guys so much for watching I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel I can't wait to make more content for you guys